If you want to be my friend, you'd better go and get a pen. Hey. And maybe we can keep in touch. Come on. Like they did in the old days. It wasn't so long ago. Oh. Wish you well. One more. Oh. Oh. Some of it is Bobcat in Police Academy. Barney. Yeah. I think I fell into Barney yeah. from Simpsons yeah. the other day. Very, I'm Homer. But yeah. he was injured. Like he, he, he was like, hurt. Oh. He's, hurt. He's in the hospital. He's not doing oh, well. It hurts. It hurts. He's coming out of sedation. It's sort of shot. a serious episode oh, of The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> I drove into a tree again. Oh, Homer. Oh, we can get serious about drunk driving, yeah. folks. That's how we do That's yeah. how they do it through The Simpsons. <laughs> Barney just gets terribly injured. Hey, uh, Pen Pals. You're hearing a third voice. That's right. Maybe your app doesn't tell you who it is. So Guest we will. week. Guest. Yeah. Uh, comedian. Actor. Writer, uh, comedy festival hang. I feel like we see each other at those more than anywhere else. Well, we've hit at least two or three. Karaoke, yes, at least. karaoke participant. Yeah. Mm. I mean, oh, I, well, one of those uh, was more glowing. I, than I the wasn't other. there. <laughs> I, I'm going to say participant because I know you participated. Sure, you know. Technically, I didn't see what you, you did. know. What it was? <laughs> it was people at the comedy, uh, the comedians cookout the next day being like. You see, Lexa? Do you see? Hey, were you, were you, you still there when Lexa? We gotta book this guy a little more <laughs> on the karaoke. We gotta get yeah. him a little after more after party aspect alone. <laughs> this Langston guy Kerman. is Langston using Kerman. the microphone in the wrong direction. <laughs> Langston Kerman, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having. Also, me. Yeah. I know Thanks I talked to you about this when we were at High Plains. Yeah, I don't know if you've had to burn it yet, but whatever your next special is, if those, if the. The voicemails, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Don't end up, you do that. No, that has to. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, that's that's 100% it's the just, goal. Is it to, has oh, to. Gold. Yeah, just shape a world gold. around. Yes. It also has that thing I love where like people in our lives operating, uh, for lack of a better term, normally, and yeah. us going, I'm going to take that really <laughs> I need this. I need this. <laughs> it is the part yeah. of, and I sh- we, we should just explain what you, it is your probably, call. but uh I've I've been uh, working my mother-in-law's hinge account. She put me in charge of it, and I have. Isn't that already fun? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like in terms of topic sentence for a paper you're about to read, you're like, go on. I mean, like we, you're immediately we on think board. So much about these type <laughs> yeah. of things. And that's already the great opening to a pitch. No, yes. it was it was yeah. truly. Yes. And I'm a I'm a selfish little piggy, but I <laughs> I went to her and I was like, we've got to find you love. And you're scared of the internet. Sure. Let me yeah. do it. I got it. <laughs> it gets better. I'll you. do let this. Me put, let me put it together. I got this. <laughs> I, and and she is such a sweet, sincere person that she was like, well, you wouldn't do me any harm. Go ahead. You, t- Yeah, you take the reins. Nothing bad could come from yeah. this. And I can't even imagine this going <laughs> wrong. Langston, I think even if you had done it all without any enjoyment for yourself, yeah. you still would have run into these wild cards uh, coming it, at you. Oh, no, you still would have arrived at this location. It, it There's no way around it. It could not have ended any, yeah. any differently. Exactly. But, boy, do we get a roller coaster of, <laughs> of oh, complicated feelings in between. Have you seen this bit, Lisa? No. Oh, my God. It's, this, it's, that's it's a very silly thing, but then I've also additionally uh, started gathering up some of the, the messages that the men send in post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I have the audio messages that I, I sometimes incorporate into my, so my sets. Yeah. It's just now, gold. I think at Largo you closed on this. Do you close on Is this like a closer? Yeah, well, it's it's the way I've been doing it on the road is I interweave them throughout the hour. Yeah. Oh, so oh I'll, great. I'll, I'll like open that. with that. And then there's like one in the middle and That's then I close. And Langston, the, when the, you shoot the special yeah, yeah, based yeah. on that being a through line, do you know what your credits is? Can we talk? <laughs> that song lines up oh with this. Sure, sure, sure. Can we talk? I'm not mad for at a that. minute. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Th- let's all do. What do we think that's going to cost? No. <laughs> what do you Tevin think? Tevin Campbell, we got to get Tevin in Campbell? touch with Tevin. Probably Ooh. at least 
forty five thousand dollars. That's a, that's Whoa. probably at least. It's uh, I'm uh, it's uh, it songs are so fucking expensive. I was about to say I think they're I think you're yeah low in it. You're going low. I think you're going low, but at least forty five. Wasn't yeah. the joke that they wrote into, wrote into one of the early episodes of The Office cost them eighty thousand dollars because of the song? Oh, because of the used? song. Yeah, yeah. Oh. potentially. Yeah, and they were like, hey, we're gonna keep it, but just so you know, guys, like be. Yeah, uh, conscious of this because that costs us eighty. <laughs> Just so you know, dollars. you're uh, now on the chopping block for <laughs> yeah. being canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> do you like? I don't want to. Maybe it's okay. Like, I don't want to talk about this, but uh, th- if you're willing to share, do you think that like in like a special? It would just like play in the room. Like, do yeah. you like finish a joke and then just on the like it's not the overhead, but like the monitors, the speakers, sure. or whatever. Suddenly, it just comes on. The one of the voicemails. Yeah, I I I set them up very like <laughs> this is what's coming. I don't want it to be insane. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah I yeah. have to always be framing this as being like, guys, remember. That this remember this, this thing yeah, that yeah. I'm doing, yeah, and it's yeah. not. Let me remind you, I'm not a complete predator. So I it's, love it's, that it's <laughs> by proxy. It's by like, proxy, yeah, by, by proxy. proxy. I'm uh, trying to get sex for a lady that, <laughs> that really needs. Hey, it. I'm married to her yeah. daughter. <laughs> this is where you start to lose them in the pitch. No, you're trying to do what? Like, oh man, I'm what trying to you, get an older lady bone. I can't wait to watch <laughs> the hour. Alex seems like, oh, he's doing volunteer work. Yeah, That's yeah, nice. yeah, no, this what a good, good guy. This is a good guy. This guy's got a heart. I like this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, should we do it? Yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. Let's go to the ladder. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here, I'm gonna um, go. You got it. Me yeah, because I want you to experience. Okay. Ready? Okay. You ever you ever pull out a letter and go? I don't know if we'll get to the second. I don't know. Oh yeah. Hey pals, Kate from Chicago here. Thought it was a sign I should finally reach out. When last weekend we went to the Pizza Hut Classic while visiting my little sister in Geneseo, Illinois. Do you know about these? No. Yeah. Well, pizza Hut. There's has a few pizza of them. Hut classics. Like when we were kids, like in the '80s. The stained oh. glass uh, lamps it's over the designed table. Designed exactly the big like red. old Pizza Huts, and they they have them in the most obscure places. Yes. I was going to surprise you with this next time we find ourselves uh, near my hometown of Rochelle, Illinois. We played Geneseo in football, so we could easily go over to Geneseo and go. To oh, Paris. you know, I know Geneseo. You have yeah. a, and because yeah. I wow. support uh, Rochelle Township High School football so much, <laughs> yeah. I will not spend my money in Genesee. <laughs> <Fair. laughs> and when we re- got to go back to the boys, <laughs> so they're going from Chicago out to Geneseo to visit the little sister. When we realized we passed through Rochelle, we hit up Country School on the way home. Neither disappointed. Some picks are attached. My question for you is: If you could shoot a different liquid out of each fingertip on one of your hands, what would you choose? Oh. The person who posed the question to me said that the liquids have to be edible. There is an argument on how thick the liquid can be. Example, you can have broth, but you can't have chunky soup. Milkshake, but not soft serve. I personally tried to choose things that could be multi-purpose. Uh, What would save me the most money? What if the zombie apocalypse comes? What liquids would be most beneficial? My edible liquids, for example, would be five fingers, five liquids. Number one, hot coffee. Mm. Number two, Olive oil can also be used as a lubricant. Okay. We come back, I bet we come back to that. Number three, <laughs> whiskey can also be used as a disinfectant. Number four, hot sauce can also be used as pepper spray. Five, ice cold sparkling water. We've also done versions where the liquid doesn't have to be edible too. Can you imagine if you could have gasoline? Needless to say, this question has provided me with hours of debates and laughs, and I'm curious to know what you'd shoot out of your fingers. LOL. Love you guys. Thanks for all the laughs. Kate. Bling, 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 bling. bling, bling. This is great. Okay. Water. You have to have gasoline. You've Do, got are we saying water. it has to be edible or, or, well, or what's be more fun? That's what's the, more fun? Edible. I think that's the the parameters of the original question. They said it sometimes yeah. it goes either way. That's what well, they're saying. Well, let's do edible. Let's say it's got to be edible. It's got to be gotta edible. Be edible. Gotta because be edible. we would all agree that if it's not edible, gasoline is number one. Well, right? are you considering I... zombie apocalypse and just saving money? <laughs> I mean, nowadays, <laughs> but that's. But I mean, dude, you would be I, the richest gasoline, man in the world. Gasoline, you've got a lighter, you now have a flamethrower. On the end of your thing. I, I, I wonder if you're going to 10 years down the line regret having a gasoline fi- finger, though, when we're all electric and things True. are. But here's the thing. Yeah. You just start filling up gallon things and you become a 
billionaire uh, for the people that still so want writing fast. Honest. You're saying that it, it never stops being an essential resource. It just may it's not gone. be one for our well, cars. Well, you right. just try to sell them before yeah. 10 years. <laughs> you just get rich. Saying, get in that window. <laughs> and then you and just you have to a, go, I'm a not fat Exxon fucking Mobile. gas I'm not finger. Shell. Yeah, you get to have, I'm just Daniel Van Kirk. That's right. all I am. This isn't even a mom and pop business. Yeah. It's I'm from the Midwest. Business. I'm just out here independently trying to make it They call me Mr. Gas. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm Mr. Call. Gas. I love that. Okay, so okay, we're going edible. I think let's go. Well, what do you think? I, it, I, that does seem like the original question. I, I am very willing to keep it edible. Let's keep it edible. Because okay. then it, I do think I we would all just pick essential resources in our fingers, and then it's it's not as uh, Yeah. you got to get creative about the use of it. Yeah. I, we're well, all going to pick water for one of the fingers. I, now, here's my question. I sure hope so. Can you, <laughs> can you, can you and then choose? And my next one is bizarre. Can, <laughs> can you choose how you want the temperature to come out? Like sometimes is it freezing water or sometimes boiling water? Well, here's Ooh. a question. The reason I think so is because she said ice cold sparkling water and hot coffee. So I think you get to no, but I'm saying if it's water, moment, do you have? Can, can you like decide if it comes out super hot or it comes out cold I, in I, the moment? Because I think she is stating that she has picked the temperature. Right. That it will I think be. you keep it at that. Then I would obviously say boiling hot water because you can always cool it down. Mm. Why can't you boil the cold water? How do you know you have access to fire? Mm. Interesting. Whoa. Okay. So we are talking zombie apocalypse. Well, I'm just. I was about to say you. Is, you're keeping this very what, apocalyptic. Honestly, this is a good question. Yeah. What percentage? How do I know I have access to fire? <laughs> My other hand. What if we I all shoot fire? I shoot little pebbles. <laughs> what if we all are forced to wear gloves? This doesn't matter at all. And then my third finger, I shoot little pebbles that are on fire. It was not, not a liquid. good choice. Some people call them bullets. That's not my language. That's not my language. But people also, call me Mr. Pebbles. <laughs> they also don't go fast enough. Just enough to annoy. Like, fuck, dude, hey. stop. Huh? Hey. Dude, can you stop? Can you, you stop? stop? It's can that. I love it's that. It's the aggressive of, can you please stop? Hey, I'm. my kids are here, man. Right. Stop. <laughs> Just with the pebbles. That is kids. That is kids. My kids are stop. But the line, can you please stop? That is the most that is the most time said in your college years. Because mm. older in life, you're like, I'm gonna ask you again to not. Right? But <laughs> yeah, yeah. younger, still sort of like finding you're out, like you're like, hey for, man, can you stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's such a young stop? Yeah. Okay. Water. Water. I think I'm boiling, boiling. But also boiling is a weapon. Oh, this so is the question. That is gonna, a smart move. This is the question I was gonna ask you. Honestly. Let's not deviate too far. What percentage do you put it at that we will live to see an apocalypse? What percentage? Oh. So if I'm thinking about it, in my lifetime, I got to weigh what is the likelihood that we're all trying to cross the Rockies on foot? I, I don't know if I would call that that part of it what I'm going to see, but okay. I'm thinking like 70%. Wow. I think yeah. I think the burning down of things yes. is going to happen in our lifetime. Okay. I think the fallout and survival shit, yeah. we ain't going to make it. We'll be. Did you ever see Looper? Yeah. I always felt like that was sort of apocalyptic, but like people were still living. There were still cars, but That's like some I mean. things had it's changed. Like, it's going to get there real. There had been a definite breakdown. Yeah. yeah. We're going to see some real fucking revolutionary shit explode. Yeah. And then they're going to like have to rebuild. A there's thing a book called Dies the Fire where something happens in space that alters the chemical reaction of, I think, iron. Mm. and no it just happens one day like some reaction in space that it comes through and affects earth and now there's no chemical reaction to iron and what that mm. means is uh the combustible engine no longer works uh gunpowder no longer works and so in this book we still have all the technology but we go back to like horses and swords and Whoa. arrows because there's no there's no missiles there's no like it doesn't we lose everything which i thought was effective. such a crazy you don't ever think of it like well no it just this one crucial thing in life just lost its chemical yeah. ability wow. through some craziness. Yeah. Okay, 70%. What about you? 100%. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't 100%, know. 100%. We're going to see the crash yeah, of yeah, things. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It makes me scared. We're, we're, okay, so I, I mean, I'm only 43. I, I don't know how old I'm you I'm 36. Yeah, we're, we're in it. Yeah. We're in it for so sure. So let's keep this in mind with fingers then. It's only when someone asks that question, do you wish you were like 75? You're like, oh, God, I wish I was 75. Yeah. Because then you would really live it up for the next five years yeah, and be yeah. like, I'm fucking out you die You're like, they'll be fine. Yeah, what am I going to do? <laughs> Let me know, guys. Let me and know. Then, and then you just hope that reincarnation isn't a thing. So yeah, like, yeah. I can't come you're back the person, to this. You're the person. Uh, a turtle? No! <laughs> they're not going to make it. And you're like, maybe a fish would. If the You're the person leaving the party where the idiots are having a good time. And they're like, you're out. Like, yeah, 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 you're right. like, yeah. We're having a good time. <laughs> hey, hey. I'll see. You sure you want to leave? I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm good. sure. 
I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, water. Uh, boiling water is a great. Uh, I think you make a good point. One, you can cook faster. Cook right? faster. And then we're always trying to get you know, food on the table faster. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but Ster- also, it is a weapon. Things. It is yeah. a weapon. It is a weapon. And I think I that sterilize things. It is a it is a weapon. Yeah. I think it matters. Just yeah. a boiling squirt to the eye of your uh yeah. your ops, as yeah. it were. Yeah. But now if you said instead of ice cold sparkling water, if you said frozen water, now you you're fucking a little bit of like a marvel. It's character. not a liquid goof. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how you thought it was gonna get out. That was exciting. Rory, for me. Rory it like goes out and <laughs> no. right before it hits you, it turns into ice. Or, or Rory, <laughs> we're over here doing our things and you're like Damn it. <laughs> Guys, hold on. Can uh, you hold on? Right. It's only going to go that far. I just stabbed somebody. I have to get close. Wait, it's I'll melting. Stir hold your drink. Still. I'll just yeah. swirl that for you. That would be handy. Yeah. Okay. You're stirring my hot coffee with your frozen. Th- wa- you're ruining that was my it. my question for you. Can Rory, you please stop? Can you please one stop? Of your fingers going to be coffee? You know what? I don't know. Because then do you get to choose the type of coffee? Oh. I think you just presume it's the best. Just, just qu- standard quality. Imagine coffee. you got coffee and Black whiskey, coffee. and you literally just like the two into a cup. It's gonna be fucking great. <laughs> I mean, it's also the apocalypse. You're like, what do I fucking care? Yeah, about? no, I, I want to feel something. Whiskey's yeah. a yeah. whiskey's a great, or not feel anything. Whiskey's <laughs> a great call too. I these I, are great answers. Hot sauce, uh, that's pepper spray, makes sense as a weapon. But I think if you go with boiling water. The pepper spray. I think boiling water is going to also be effective. Hey, uh, let's get naughty. How about boiling hot sauce? Now we're okay. Now we're doing something okay. insane. No, but I now think you just kind of want hot sauce. Yeah, but yeah, you could really. <laughs> but fuck now it's somebody a triple up. weapon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's boiling that's gonna hot hurt. Sauce. Yeah. Would you do? Co- you would do coffee. Yeah, I would something not. on there's got to be for you. I've never, uh, in fact, had a cup of coffee. I'm not. I don't. I'm not a coffee drinker either. Yeah, I don't. I've had a. a, a I love coffee. Mo- in the past couple of years, I've had one coffee but, I've liked a few times. <laughs> I love coffee, but yeah. in you the do, event you don't that love I coffee. need to shoot liquids out of my fingers and it is the end of the world, I can walk away. From let's you say it's, you think you'll let's say it's not the end of the world. <laughs> I'll give it up. I'll actually stop you, smoking. You'll clean up your act a little bit. <laughs> I'll get off pot edibles. <laughs> let's say it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Just for joy. There are people right now hearing us going, contact solution, 100%. No. The fact that they would never... And those people I are got wrong. LASIK, but the fact that they would never have to, again, worry Whoa. about, do I have contact solution with me? How much contact? I got to go buy new contact solution? Oh, that does make you wonder, is it like, uh, like are you like well, that's hydrogen not edible. peroxide? Not edible. Not yeah. edible. Yeah. No, well, hydrogen peroxide, you can, like, oh, yeah. you can use oh, as mouthwash. Or mm-hmm. if you do, like, saline... Then, like, oh. so it's not specific, like, lens solution, but saline, you can ingest it. What if you're just really lazy and you're like, urine? And you're like, you already have a finger for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, our dicks. I was talking about our dicks. Yeah, a little tiny finger. <laughs> yeah. One, I might have to go. I don't know why that was so sad. Honestly, I, well, I do want some of it to be fun. One of these last two fingers is going to be root beer. Oh, you're going, okay. Just the best root beer. Yeah, Why, you, I've got to have all of them be survival. I can't have a little something. Well, here's what I want to know: if we're saying not apocalypse, that changes everything. Yeah, I everything. want you guys to do it like today for fun. Like, what would you guys do? Because today? Other, can I say my last apocalypse? Uh, bone broth. If you're going, that's so mm. so much sustenance, nourishing protein. Yes, yes. I got okay, you. for fun. I, oh, none of those are for fun. <laughs> oh, no, <that's>, no. <laughs> okay. This man loves bone broth, yeah. and you know it. Bone broth. <laughs> for a good time. For a good time. Bone broth me. I <laughs> bone me I broth. feel like bone me broth. obviously water is a good choice still. Bone no matter broth. what. But then you want it to be a fun second option. Like yeah. it's like water and then pineapple juice, I think. What is. if it was just a like pre mixed margarita? What mm. if it's what if it's room temp water and that when we are thirsty, you're just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, like, mm, I'm not thirsty anymore. Yeah. But if it's boiling water, you can't do that. I hope the clip is you going, mm, <laughs> not thirsty anymore. <laughs> Out of context. Mm, just thirsty. just three seconds. <laughs> mm. Cut it up. Not thirsty anymore. <laughs> and it just goes back to you guys being like, okay. okay. All, yeah, right. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. okay. Like you guys just placate me through the whole episode. <laughs> okay, so he's here. All right. We'll be right back. Okay, so for fun, I still think, yes, water doesn't need to be boiling anymore. Mm. Although, if you love to cook, you've just saved yourself so much time. Yeah. You even doing a craft macaroni and cheese boiling? Let's throw it in. We're good. Spirals. He loves spirals. They're the best. What? Wait, like the blue box? Yeah, blue box. Craft spirals macaroni and cheese. Whoa! I didn't know we could still eat those like as mean? adults. Lace and I, will make, I thought that I will was a child's food. meal. You're gonna, you're gonna Lace, eat you're, you're right, but Shut we up. can still no. eat them as adults. No. <laughs> 
All right, the next show we're both on, be prepared. You're going to get handed some Tupperware. Whoa. I got to yeah. try the mac and cheese Langston's on. Yeah. Like, what is adult mac yeah, well, and cheese? Baked. <laughs> He's going holidays baked. Right? Well, well, here's the thing is that black people do eat a very different mac and cheese than Don't walk me through. white yeah, people. Go. I've got I, it. I Shoot it out of your finger. It is. It is. <laughs> It, it, <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is it? It is a it's a baked mac yeah. and cheese See? that black people prefer, and it is sort of a frowned upon thing to be eating the uh, the blue the box. Stir. Not that that I, I I do not shame you. You going crust? But on, I am. Surprised. You going crust on top of your bake? Can I just yeah, say, you, calling yeah, it the, the blue word. box is so great. It's like yeah. it further. Proves Langston has moved past. <laughs> <laughs> I could bring you back. I could bring you back. So, what is there anything that's different about the mac and cheese other than baked? Uh, I, I think it's that's because I've had the, homemade mac and cheese. Do you just mean it's got to be like homemade, not out of it's a, in box. a big pan? No, it's usually cooked in a big pan because I've had, yeah, okay, it is baked as yeah. opposed to like any version that would be a stove top. You ever have it where it's like rigatoni noodles, but it's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You ever had corn in it? No. Me neither. <laughs> I think I'm weird. I haven't either. So good. Is, is there? Have you had, you've had corn in yours? My grandmother has. is like she'll put like there's cheese. That's some she'll southern. Get corn that's some South Carolina. Yeah, right. South Carolina stuff. Yeah, if you get, we got to get corn and stuff. We <laughs> just it's there's not corn in enough stuff. But is there anything? We, we, we gotta have more. Corn. <laughs> is there anything more sad than a holiday? You get the mac and cheese, the baked, right? And you mm -hmm. take it out, and it's just dry. Yeah. And you don't want to tell them, and they know. No, you sure. do want to tell them. You I can't. don't. I, yes. You do want to yes, tell them. Yes, you yes, want to yes, tell yes. them that a mistake was just made the, here. And, and not out. just a mistake. You're like, you've actually ruined uh, <laughs> my adventure into the new year. Guys, <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, but this is the dish I was looking yeah. most forward to. I don't know maybe. if you know this, but you're ending the year wrong for me. <laughs> this was going to be how I got to my nap. Yeah. And now I can't. And now I can't. Yeah. Now I can't. Okay. We got to get five. Yeah, well, here's the thing that you <laughs> also have bitch. to consider. Um, you know, you wipe your ass, but I mean, you got to really use You're going to go up a day? You got to really use soap if you're going to be drinking stuff out of your fingers that you yeah. wipe your asshole with. <laughs> let's just say it. Yeah, yeah. Let's just say it shoots out clean. <laughs> it shoots out clean. <laughs> it's clean of the finger, like a little yeah. cannon comes There's out. There's a little that... filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want some water? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like gadget. you got a little shit on your finger. <laughs> ah, it's fine. The water comes it out clean. Out no, clean. no, no. Jesus Christ, it's boiling. Oh, yeah, by the way, it's boiling. You're like, oh, shit's <laughs> technically a liquid. I chose bad. Let it go. I chose bad. Shit I chose diarrhea <laughs> to be one of my fingers. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What do you want know. from me? I'm like, better? I thought it'd be funny. I thought it'd be funny. If I could shoot diarrhea out of I also my love that too. Basically, I wasted a wish. I also <laughs> love that too. When somebody goes, what do you want from me? When it's so clearly that we easily wanted something better. What do you want from me? I want you to not choose well, not, diarrhea. I don't want diarrhea. You're, you're you telling want? me, given five choices, diarrhea is not one of them. You're, yeah. You're crazy. You just need water. Yes, there are other logical <laughs> solutions, but you just need water. Okay. Diarrhea. I actually... People don't know this. I actually chose diarrhea in the other four. <laughs> <laughs> diarrhea was my first choice. I kept forgetting if I yeah, hadn't this chosen one, it. This one's water. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be very careful which finger I... I'm always forgetting. It's I always mess. forget. Now I'm doing this. I'm like, ah, it's diarrhea. Uh, I got to use the water, but it's another <laughs> diarrhea one. <laughs> now I'm throwing okay, up diarrhea I just thought places. of another great one. If All we're right. going for fun. Water. Uh, root beer. And W perfectly made root beer. Oh, wow. So you, now you have chosen if a I'm brand. Gonna, yes. You've committed to a brand. I would probably go uh, e either like a really good tequila or I would just go margarita. Mm. Okay? I'd probably go tequila, to be honest. And then nacho cheese. Whoa. Does that count? Whoa. Yes. Lissa, for the win? I think so. 100%. Yeah, it's a liquid. It, can shoot is it, a liquid? It, it is a liquid. It in the It's in not the, chunky soup. In so the could, most dangerous definition of the word, man, it is a you, liquid. Whatever. You guys want to use some cheese? Yeah. yeah so you want not your cheese on that? But the moment wow. you do that, I was like, no. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's good cheese. I okay. good. What about you guys? Uh, when you said uh, tequila, what was I gonna say? God, I, I said damn. margarita or tequila. I was just thinking, like, what's uh? You could go pre-batch Negroni. Oh, okay. Mm. Small batch, but it's eternal because it's my fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go water. I'm not gonna go root beer, but I think I gotta go milkshake. I like that. I thought that you were gonna say good. Bojangles gravy, but do I have to? I was gonna say an au jus. 
Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Do I have to barbecue sauce? Uh, is ranch? the milkshake flavor allowed to change? Is or, a, no, or do I, think I have you to commit? commit to I think one commit. milkshake for the rest? Well, of Well, then life. I think I go with vanilla because I could do. always get chocolate syrup. I could always get or you could have chocolate syrup. syrup on the next finger. Oh. I could always put chocolate <laughs> chips. You know, yeah. I go all milkshakes. Like, well, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> um, water milkshake, uh, probably, um, probably a whiskey, mm. um, and then I guess. If I need sustenance, broth is probably the best bet. Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. is that right? I don't really know. You know like, where do you think you get the so most? You find yourself stranded. You got if you have like a bone broth, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. And plenty of water, you're gonna be that. fine. You could yeah. you you easily live for 28, 30 days. Yeah. Mm. And then, uh, um, and then just I think wet polenta. <laughs> 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 there it is, Langston. <laughs> There's the wasted guess. There's the wasted wish. <laughs> uh, water, yes. Let's okay. all agree on water. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I would go if I needed an exotic drink. I'm going pineapple juice. I think that's, Ooh, that's I, a fine choice. It's also really healthy for you. I think, yeah. But too of. much of it, you'll get canker scores. Pineapple juice and uh, cucumber juice mixed together is very good for oh, you. Oh, is it? I read that on Instagram. Take that. Do with okay. that what you I believe will. it 100%. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 
You're right. Ours. Our, we didn't even, if we went, okay, now non-edible. We do, we'd be here for another hour. I bet you in six months we don't need, we think these answers are shit. We're like, nah, now I know. Yeah, when that know, apocalypse man. does kick water. in. <laughs> and I'd water. probably still go root beer. I feel like water is the only one where you actually made a totally correct choice uh, yeah. and then everything, everything else, else is just yeah. subjective. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Well, broth, you can, there's a function to that. Yeah. But then like milkshake, I don't need a milkshake. I agree. Kate, thanks so much for this letter. We wish you well. Sincerely, your pen pals, Daniel Van Kirk, Roy Scovel, and Langston Carmen. And we're back. You're in it. Plugs and hugs with the boys. Um, what do you got going, Roy? Uh, go to RoyScovel.com for all my dates, but uh, uh, I've got Traverse City, Michigan coming up for a festival, so come on out to that. And... Uh, I'm going to be in Australia, I think. That isn't confirmed when is what, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. And also, my special will be out in um, February. Uh, you'll hear more Hell yeah. about that. If you are wanting to know more about it specifically, uh, go to Instagram or my website. I'll be hyping it way too, just way too much. Mm. Love it. <laughs> DanielVanKirk.com for my dates. Cedar Rapids, Des Moines. That's coming up here this first weekend in February. Then I've also got DC. I've got Fort Collins, and I'll be doing a run around the Colorado area as well, plus the Pacific Northwest. Go to DanielVanKirk.com. You can watch my movie Wine Club, which is out and streaming. Uh, check that wherever you want to uh, rent it for the weekend. And then uh, Rose Gold, my special, should be coming out in April. Mm. And I'll be able to run that hour up until it drops. So if you want to see that and uh, get some of that rose gold merch, everything's at DanielVanKirk.com. Also, did you see uh, good old Dave Jacoby was like, would you guys be interested in doing a... He's trying to get us down to the hotel. Yeah, but he has a lot of making up to do He's to you. to get me a hat. I know. Okay. Langston, what do you got? I, I, uh, I'm I not dropping the specials, so don't look Just out for that. say you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. January. <laughs> January 1st. Uh <laughs> I, yeah, just just follow me at Langston Kerman and, and listen to my podcast, My Mama Told Me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about black people and conspiracy theories, and sometimes the, the two of them intermix quite a bit. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, listen to that wherever you listen to, to podcasts like this one. Yeah, Love it. perfect. Yeah. Shall right. we do it? Yep. Let's, Let's read go this letter, letter that's, that's right, right here. here. Read it. <laughs> <laughs> The force get in. <laughs> Letter written to a person from a person. Hello, pen, pen pals. pals. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is uh, interestingly <laughs> pitch um, that. David Letterman. Ah. Yeah, I love it. I wanted to start off by saying that I love the podcast. I attempt to grow the show every chance I get. Whenever I am giving my family or friends advice on an issue, I try to incorporate your F2F face-to-face uh, -face and RRGT rip-roaring good time Colts. I take that opportunity to introduce them to the podcast. However... I am finding it hard to go F to F with my husband. We are 37 years old, uh, have been married for five, almost six years, together for two years before we got married. We have three kids, a four-and-a-half-year-old, two-year-old, and a two-month-old boy. Mm. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and my husband works a 7.30 to 4 Monday to Friday job. It's physical, but not overly. I am having trouble getting him to help out in the evenings and weekends. We have a trailer and spend most weekends in the spring, summer, part of fall there in canada so snow doesn't allow us to use it year round in canada so snow okay you all get what i said <laughs> yeah, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> so they can't use it year round because it's in canada snow blah 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 uh i'm saying blah blah, blah. I, I, cut that out that sounded rude no leave it in blah fucking blah you know here what? we go <laughs> take the f word out you know what leave it put more of it in uh quadruple it <laughs> He likes to spend this time drinking with neighbor. No one thought, like, you thought he just kind of wasn't helping. Yeah. Now you're like, he gets fucked up. Oh, yeah, this is because this is the yeah. because He don't come home. He's got this one whiskey finger. <laughs> Evenings and weekends. He, likes, he to likes to spend this time drinking with neighbors and playing a game cornhole. The issue is that Thanks. he has three little kids. The other guys he's hanging out with are our parents' ages and have no little kids to look after. Whoa. At home, he likes to come home and decompress by smoking marijuana or having a beer or many. I am getting worried about his intake or both. He is not able to help me with both. dinner, bath, or bedtime effectively some days. I am starting to feel like a single parent. I am lucky. The four-year-old is in junior kindergarten. Two-year-old is at preschool three days a week. So I usually just have a newborn all day, but I need a break too some days. I feel like... 
Anytime I bring up his drinking, it turns into a fight. I don't want to nag him and be that kind of wife, but something needs to change. Have you ever had trouble giving out advice face-to-face, but a hard time following your own advice? Do you have any advice on how I can bring it up without it starting a fight or me sounding like a nag? Thanks for all the laughs. Hopefully you can do that with this letter, too. I listen to your podcast and DPT when I take the kids for a walk, and I'm sure people think I'm crazy because I end up laughing and smiling like a fool. Sincerely, your pen pal, M. Bling, bling, bling. Bling, bling, bling. Bling, <coughs> bling, bling. <laughs> I don't I love that. <laughs> That's so great to just get on board. No one, I don't think it's I has, don't think so either. Has ever done that. Bling, yeah. bling. <laughs> um, what do you want to say, guys? M, uh, I, I do have to say, right out of the gate, one thing I want to address is don't, con- don't, I, I, I think it's unhealthy to consider yourself a nag when you are merely asking Stating your needs for help in what is a you know, a co-parenting, like these are both your children. It's a co-parenting thing. I feel like I can speak to this because I live in a state of eternally wondering if I'm helping enough and and not always fixing what I like. I know I'm, I could be doing more and then I don't do four days. Yeah. Not stop gone. Yes. Because you live in the space of, well, you know, uh, you know, I, I, you go, well, I, I, I go on the road. And then so when I come home, I kind of need space to get back into it. And then I find myself being like, oh, I'm kind of not maybe sharing the load that I could be sharing. And what we all now, you know, as more, uh, I think, civilized men, speaking specifically to fathers and men, like sure. we now know, like, all right, we don't live in this world of like nine to five, come home the 50s. It's not the 50s. Like I'm coming home here to help parent i am a part of this yeah. job as well um I, I there's there's more that i could be doing but my wife definitely brings it up when i should be doing it and then i feel this shame that she even had to yeah despite I, the fact that i don't fix this problem in advance i i definitely feel like as a parent you are constantly just reassessing whether or not you're contributing at all. <laughs> yes. Where you're like, I, I didn't help with that even one bit, even yeah. when you're present in the room and involved, you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. that's just a natural anxiety that I think a healthy parent probably should have. Sure. Yeah. And in that way, if this person is not feeling that, then that is a bad sign yeah. for his uh, willingness even to be a good parent. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know how to totally. You have one kid, two kids. Yeah, you? I have one. One, yeah. yeah. Um, how old? She's two. She turned two in October. Yeah, like the, the the. So we have this in common. Both having just one kid. Yeah. Even with one kid, I'm like, I don't know if I'm doing enough. <laughs> yeah. And one kid, any parent will tell you, is definitely the easiest amount of kids to have to juggle. <laughs> they say it's the best you can Actually, do. Actually, at eight, it comes back around at eight. Yeah. At eight, it gets even easier. Oh, they just yes. are training each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like yeah. a little yeah. dojo. Yeah, and at eight, you're just now you're just a company. <laughs> yeah, and now you're the CEO who kind of doesn't have to show you're up in the building. You're just walking between want to. lines. Yeah. You're yeah. Like, yeah, no, they yeah. look good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, looks good. The product's going out. Everybody's happy. <laughs> great. All right, great. Um, yeah, I I, I got to say that uh, you you guys are 37 years old. There is a world where, um, uh, and and this is me just trying to put out possibilities mm. there's a world where your husband maybe does need this f2f i couldn't tell you how to do it without starting a fight because i don't know the variables of personalities but i do got to say men do experience also a postpartum depression mm-hmm. when having kids and it's not it's not talked about enough in the fact that women experience it and it's not talked about enough the fact that men also experience it despite the fact that you did not physically birth this child it doesn't mean that your life has changed massively and in a way where you look at your own existence and you start to question things. Like, things happen. Things change. Mm -hmm. And you feel it. And there's a chance that he's now gone down this road with three kids and maybe is not aware that he has this thing he needs to address or is and he's avoiding it. I would say if he's playing cornhole obsessively with uh, people who are old enough to be his dad, um, he's definitely maybe avoiding... Uh, what can I be doing as a father? And yeah. maybe he's living in this space of, oh, I don't know if the, this was what I pictured my life would be. And, and I, you know. I, I wonder too that if maybe the the approach should be less about 
uh, him fixing his drinking this and what more I was about say. him reassessing his relationship well, with his y- kids or even relationship with cornhole. Yeah, like, exactly. Maybe we could just play less cornhole because I and that can I or us. just ping pong. Like, yeah. Get into something else. <laughs> <laughs> I think though that's what I would say to her. And what if can you're I gonna watch do an F two F, if you're gonna do F two F, I would say my first approach would be make the F two F about. Uh, not what he's doing and mm. more about what you need. Yeah. Because if he gives you more of what you need, it should solve the amount of time he's out with the guys, the amount of time that he's drinking, the amount of time that he's getting high because he's had to v- devote that time to meeting your needs. Yeah. So you sort of can just say, uh, rather than coming down of like, well, you're always fucking doing this. It's more about, I need this, I need this. And then if that person meets those needs for you, Hopefully that will create a balance in what they're doing that the other side of the scale is more about you being happy. Yeah. If that doesn't happen, right? You've said, here's what I need. They don't listen to you at all. They keep doing all this stuff. Then your next conversation is, here's why I have an issue with you. Because I told you what I needed and now I need to tell you what you keep doing in place of doing what I need. Yeah. But you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like one's more like yeah, meet yeah, me yeah. rather than I'm coming at you. Yeah. I think well, I think you make a good point that. The, I, and again, there's variables we can't speak to because we don't know him. I get the impression that similarly, this is not about alcoholism. No, I just get no, the impression okay. that it's not like, oh, I came home and I was a beer. Like I, this reminds me of maybe the drinking that I do where, you know, there's times in my life as a father that I would be like, oh, man, I'm getting high all the time or I'm booking spots all the time or I'm just wondering, oh, I, I want to go play golf. I want to get out of here. Oh, it's just the baby. It's just you. I mean, I I look back on my own parental responsibilities and realize I, I feel a heavy burden and, and, and a regret that I can't change is that I feel like I abandoned my wife at, when our baby was there because I was like, that's ah, just the baby. You're fine. Yeah, I'll get out of yeah. here. And what I later had to come to accept was that I was definitely avoiding this new space because I was confused by it and I didn't hit it head on with the, the, uh, the confidence I should have. I, instead, I kind of tried to run away from it and see if it would kind of fix it on its own. I say all that to say that there's a lot of this behavior. I think that's kind of reminding me of myself. And I think Daniel makes a good point in saying like, maybe the problem to address is not is going, Hey, I want to talk about your drinking or all these things, but stating specifically what your needs are and, 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 this is another leap, but maybe he's going to go, well, I go to work. And so when I come home, this is my time to unwind. You have to remind him that you have three children. Where is your cornhole three hours that you can step away from this? And it doesn't exist because you have this responsibility. I would say, do not wait for the love of your husband. Don't wait on, uh, approaching him with this topic because with your child at four and a half years old i get a feeling he's gonna live a great deal of regret when he realizes how fast the leap from four and a half years old to eight years old Mm -hmm. is and it's depressing because when she turns eight or he turns eight uh when she turns eight he's gonna then go oh i think i got it figured out and it's going to be so sad because you're going to go, oh, fuck, I'm too late. Mm-hmm. And I'm too late because maybe I just thought, oh, this is just what I'll be this kind of dad. And he won't maybe know that these connections now are so important and so vital to the relationships he'll have with those kids. I mean, even tell him like, hey, there's a day when you're going to be the dad and you're going to want your your kids to be the ones that play cornhole yeah. with yeah. you. But you got to start that now. Well, that's what I was, uh, I think, the and maybe this is helpful in pushing her to ask this question, but why can't your kids be part of your decompression for the day? Yes. Like, I think if yeah. you can frame it that way or at least get him to, to ask that question himself – then maybe you can meet in the middle somewhere because my daughter is uh, is never making my life. Uh, it doesn't feel like decompression based off of how she acts. Right, sure. I'm chasing a a nutcase around. Yeah. Well, she's not good time. at cornhole. She stinks at cornhole <laughs> uh, <laughs> and drinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> she can't even get the beer into her mouth. <laughs> 
but then there's a part of me that enjoys her company so much that that the joy of her presence becomes a decompression even though the labor of it sure. yeah is not decompressing right? yeah it's not relaxing on maybe a couch, he isn't at that point of discovery yeah because everything you just said doesn't make sense on paper no it doesn't yeah. this seems like it sucks yeah and yeah. it pro it probably looks like it sucks when he yes. comes back in and she's running around and they're screaming and shit yeah. yes and he's like yo i gotta go yeah smoke. i gotta go to the front yard yeah. i gotta get high I this gotta looks beer. fucking nuts bro yeah, i gotta see if car Carl's awake. Well, <laughs> you know, his age, he goes to bed at six. Well, you, know, that's, you bring that, That's what I was going to say. Maybe I'm wishful thinking because God knows, uh, historically, men have been very good at allowing other men to be shitty. Mm. But, but there's a part of me that wonders, like, if, you know, if, if if she were to say, like, well, ask those guys what it was like when their kids weren't full grown. That if he were to be like, yeah, she's just mad because she sent on, on too much out to, here, out too, too much time out here with you guys, that they might go. Well, you know, we're out here because it we're done. Yeah, we're out here because well, our, we wish we our, could do it again. We probably do. Hopefully, I hope that too. Wish they could do it again, but that they would go. Hey, man, um, we're out here like fucking off and doing cornhole and drinking because we don't. Our houses are make us sad. Our kids are gone. <laughs> right. Do you know oh. what I'm saying? On some level, there's that empty nest feeling where people get very sad and they seek out. Like people get retired and they go. If these dudes go are like secretly that vulnerable, I that would be so. I fun. would hope it wouldn't. You? I, I hope that he. I would just hope, or at least one guy. Carl's got a shirt on says kids suck. <laughs> He's not helpful at all. But I hope one guy would. He's like no, those guys fucking suck. But one guy would look at him and be like, yeah, she's. Like you're gonna, you, you can hang out here with us, dude. We'd love to have you, but you are missing out on a lot of shit in there. Yeah. And, and our yeah. kids are in college or off of jobs, and you know, there's that old thing of like, uh, they, so the the story of like parents who like call and be like, I can't figure out how to work this remote or whatever it mm. is, and then they get off the phone and the the parent grabs the TV and unmutes it and turns it to another channel. Oh, that they this they, is all a ruse to, just to, to have, reconnect have with your a, children. Yes, to, and so they yeah. might long for those days and search for it and they'd be like, "Yeah, dude, we love having you out. It's great. We need a fourth for cornhole bags." Anyway, and uh but you you are missing shit in there. Just yeah. so you know, you know like well, and and also I got to say like I can't imagine this, like, especially if it's like you need help out on the we evenings. Sure, that's its own story, but not helping on the weekends is a whole yeah. other issue. Yeah. Like, that, I, there is a level of, from what I'm reading here, um, and like I said, all the, like, devil's advocate, maybe he's going through this stuff. It still bleeds heavy selfishness. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I mean where I say yeah. that that there has to be a real assessment of whether or not this person even has the willingness to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. be, instead of it being like, hey, I need you to step up, step up, you sort of have to be able to reflect. And it may be through conversation or it may just be through clear. Well, you usually know what you're getting from somebody if you say, can I talk to you about my needs? Yeah. If they're like, yeah, of course, versus... Yeah, here we You're go. You're like, oh, okay. Well, yeah. we know exactly where this is going to yeah, go. Yeah, and that's how I am. But uh, but <laughs> also, I do really like your side of it, Rory. We were like, you know, he may, whether he's willing to do it or can acknowledge it himself, he may be going through an identity crisis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that that's what I feel benefit like I'm from some here. sort of at the help. age of thirty-seven. You're approaching uh, what is considered midlife, given the fact that maybe eighty is roughly the time that sure. we. Stop shooting liquids out of our fingers and <laughs> perish. <laughs> Those fingers dry up. Those fingers dry up. And you're like, ah, no more root beer. Um, That's how you explain it yeah. to your kids. So. Yeah. Uh, grandpa's fingers dried up. My fingers don't work anymore. Because you work with your hands? Oh, no, 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 no. I uh, could shoot different liquids out of each finger. The most weird, the weirdest one was always the thumb. <laughs> You're like old man Logan. You're like Wolverine and Logan. You're like, it's been, it's been hard life. Just one yeah. last yeah. mustard. I hurt myself <laughs> today. All right, Roy, take it. Um, What's the fifth liquid? Uh, the stuff the T-1000 was made out of. <laughs> when it, now you're cheating. But that's awesome. That is so the, I just made an army. the best answer <laughs> not an army. anybody put out today. But yes, please. <laughs> Terminator <laughs> army. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's he's 37 and it's I'm approaching 40. And I, I look, I, I, I am sympathetic to all of your needs. I'm just trying to throw out there, like, what could this guy be going through? He could be a piece of shit and you don't want to come to terms with it. That's always a possibility. It just it it's just reality. Um, but here you are with three kids and you need help. And so as hard as it is to have an F2F, 
and I because it always results in an argument, I couldn't tell you how to effectively do it because I don't know how you've already tried to do it. Right. Uh, but I do think if it isn't about drinking and all this stuff and, and you are trying, you might be responding, listening to this right now, going, I have tried all those things. Um, I couldn't fully tell you what the right approach is because I just don't know you and how you've tried to approach it. And I don't know him and how he might be willing or unwilling to listen to any mm -hmm. kind of change. So um, I do think it's important though. Uh, and I do think if you think that person is in there who's maybe just kind of off track right now and needs to get back on track, if that it sounds like uh, this person, you know, we say it all the time. Therapy is always a great resource. I don't know if it's one that's available, um, but couples therapy is also a great resource. You can get to space and, and kind of open up a little more if that's available. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think you got to get some help and you got to make it clear that you need uh, help. Uh, maybe I, I don't want it to be like forced, but you could be like, yeah, anyways, look, I signed up for a, uh, a painting class. Uh, so on Wednesdays, I'm going to be gone from four to six. Yeah. And that's going to be on you to watch the kids, get them dinner, get them bathed and get them in bed. Mm -hmm. And then he might be like, no, the downside of that is fuck. That's a lot of work. And that's crazy. You might be like, this is why I play fucking cornhole and yeah. drink. <laughs> um, but this also might be the kind of guy who's like, yeah, they'll watch themselves. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They, yeah. They and then it. you're like, okay. So, <laughs> um, Oh, they're still in the bathtub. That's crazy. It's been three hours and the water's <laughs> definitely cold. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. On weekends, I, I don't know. I don't want to give you, like, work to do, but I don't know if it's, like, I put a thing together that we're all going to go do on the weekend because I'm just trying to see if maybe your eyes and heart and mind will open up to go, oh, fuck, I, I'm missing sure. this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it requires a, something as simple as a picnic or something. I don't know. I think it's. I think you got to figure out a, a way of, to get them on the court. Know. I don't know how to do it, though. I hope they let us know. Oh, you read it. You do hope he's at least good at, at bags. <laughs> oh, he's got to be the best. He's what out there enough. What if he's just shit? <laughs> you guys know Jamar Moore is a yeah. uh, is a champion yeah. of uh, no. cornhole yeah. right no. now. In what way? Like also what you, uh, like local, in local the local tournament or like on ESPN? In the kind of ESPN shit? tournament. Oh shit! Jamar Moore and some <laughs> other guy. <laughs> One and the that's how they're that's their team name. <laughs> Ocho Cinco's doing, is he? Yes, and d crushing. Yeah, no, there's, yeah. there's a lot of surprising. Who competitors. Ocho Cinco and some other guy? <laughs> that's what it feels like some guy Ocho named Ocho Cinco and a man built like one O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one single one circle, single Cinco, <laughs> one, Uno Cinco, Ocho Cinco and Uno Cinco. You read this. And they are the first and eighth place. Okay. Um, M, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I, I hope that uh, we were helpful in some way or made you at least laugh about this situation in some way. But, uh, yeah, hit us back and let us know how it, this goes if, if you do take these steps. Uh, we wish you well. Sincerely, your pen pals, Roy Scoville, Daniel Van Kirk, and Langston Kerman. I just started thinking, do you want, like, Neosporin? Oh. <laughs> you can't eat that. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. You actually can. My it's grandma's. Incredible. My high. grandma's macaroni. <laughs> she puts that. That's how she tops it. <laughs>